If you're feeling anxious, depressed, having trouble sleeping, you're not alone right now. A new study by Cohen Veterans Network, CVN, a national nonprofit mental health system for veterans and military families, revealed alarming findings on the state of our mental health. Well, our America's Mental Health COVID Pulse study found that 58% of Americans are concerned because now they are required to social distance and they're confined to their home. Um, and it's limiting their ability to reach out and, and get help when they need it. And two thirds of them are feeling anxious and 46% are having trouble sleeping. But what was most troubling to me, honestly, was that 72% of Americans are having to worry about basic necessity. 50% are preoccupied with losing their job. 90% are talking about what the global economy is going to look like for them. All of this exacerbates any mental health condition. Our study also showed that 80% of Americans feel that because of this epidemic, people will not get the mental health services they need when they need them. We can't forget about those crisis situations as well related to child abuse and domestic violence and addictions. These challenges can be exacerbated under stress and also can be hidden. We cannot let this happen. Americans must know that mental health services and support services are available and that treatment works. Today, telehealth face-to-face -face video therapy is a bright spot for us right now. Telehealth has become the opportunity to improve access to care. In every crisis, there's always opportunities, and telehealth has stepped up to be that opportunity that we're going to be able to now provide access to quality care anywhere, from anywhere, to anyone. So if there were a time for telehealth to show its worth and value, now is the time, and it has. And what we're seeing at the Cohen Veterans Network and with my provider friends across the country is telehealth is just as effective, and people are accessing care. Other things we can do, focus on the basics. Take care of yourself. Get the right sleep. Stay connected to those that you love. Talk to your friends, your family. Chat, FaceTime. Don't isolate. Because we know that if we feel connected, there's a good chance that we're going to get better. The good news from the study, Hassan says, is that looking to the future, most Americans remain optimistic, with 8 in 10 being hopeful and a third very hopeful. Visit cohenveteransnetwork.org slash telehealth for help.